fighting that happened. And you may say, Gina, honey, what are you talking about? Well, it's you could consider it like a paranormal sighting. You could compare it to like an extraterrestrial and interdimensional and alien sighting. It was in the sky. It was. And I don't know if you've seen it or you've heard about it. I'm sure some have heard about it. Some have seen it. It was... Um, it was hard to miss you all. It really was if you're just tuning in because there's a lot um, that is taking place in our world, a whole lot. And um, there's so much going on that it seems to just taking away from what's actually happening, uh, what we should be like having our eyes, like, you know, focusing and noticing what's happening. Oh, did you see it? Let me do this right here. Let me pull this up. I know a lot of people have seen it. It was this right here at the observatories last night. We had started off, I'm going to recap. We'd started off looking at the FAA webcam with this right here yesterday evening, seeing the Nibiru-like object in the sky because we know something's up there. They keep covering it. But then when we went to the cloud cam um, right here, this showed up. That sighting right there that showed up that's only the second time that this channel has ever documented that um being at the observatories the last time we documented it it wasn't alone it wasn't the only being that was there um good morning so that hello there alien guru the great reset is here you um yeah good morning everyone so if you haven't seen it that that's that's big news. To me, that's really big news because that's really uh, what's happening. And there's things that are affecting everything. And I think this has a big, this is a, one of the major factors. And then couple that with this sighting right here at the observatories from yesterday. And I'm going to recap everything you are really fast is what I'm going to do. And if you hadn't watched the, um, video. Well, this is my last video of the night. Dance with me. <laughs> that was the last one of the night, you all. That one right there. But um, the first one, the first one that we did, well, let me find it, you all. The moon rocks. It was a little video I put together about the moon. I did that as a premiere. I'm just going to go over the things in case you might have missed them that we touched on. This one right here too, the black cubes. They're here. Okay, and we we touched on them before. We have, and um, where did we where did we put them? We put them right here. That they came out of the sun, and they're located in the South Pacific Ocean, and they started showing up around about twenty. It was twenty nineteen. April of twenty nineteen is when this Google Earth documented them. Twenty nineteen. Um, did you all get a notification of this? Hello. Huge black cloud covered the sun this morning. I believe it. Did you all get a, a notification for this live stream? Um, somehow the the algorithm knows what I'm going to do a video on. It really does. But that's okay, you all. We can, we can do it. There's just too much going on. And, you know, you have the ship showing up at the observatories. That's great. Showing up at the observatories. I'm going to try to cap it just a tad bit. Then I found the ships at Table Mountain. This was like a day or so ago. You can see in the clouds um, right here, the travel in the clouds. And um, if you look at that, they match the light ships that I've documented. So these light ships are all over the world. They are in the clouds. This is a Table Mountain, South Africa. But this light being from last night at the observatories, it was a wonderful surprise. It really was to go from looking at this and then uh, boom at the end of that um, time time lapse they did this being shows up right here and it, it literally it had ships with it you all there were ships like golden like ships that appeared from the other dimension and then this this came right there in front of the camera when you have uh, somebody who stands right in front of a camera whether it be human animal or whatever um, or being, they want they want you to get their picture. Okay, you ever see on these like 
videos, when people know somebody's filming, they're going to get right in front of the camera because they want to get on that camera. They want people to see them on the camera. They want people to see them on the camera. They want to be in the spotlight. I think this was one of the reasons this being showed up again right in front of that camera. Can you imagine how massive it was? It only showed up for a brief, well, as far as we know, it only showed up for a brief moment because they time lapse it and they cut out footage of some of their um, uh, videoing, the time lapse. And you know that someone there has bound to be connecting with it. And if they're not, somebody will be connecting with these beings right here on Earth because they are. They're kind of like a light being and um, a totally different type of a life form. I guess someone would have to try to figure out how, you know, like how they show in the movies, they have somebody come in that can communicate with these light beings like this. Someone who has a connection, they can communicate with it telepathically or something like that. Good morning, you all. Good morning. So um, we did see that last night um, at the observatories. That was, was that the last video we did last night, you all? I think it was the last video before I did that dance video, um, wherever that one went, before I did the dance video right here. This video right here, what happens is, I've noticed when you've got significant stuff coming out, the traffic is literally slowed down. It's only allowed for maybe, I don't know, a few hours, a few hours to draw attention to it. But this is, this is happening. And I know you all can see it. I know you can sense it. And this right here, mega, mega. Let me, let me get down here to these. You, I'm trying to get this on here. Where did it go? This mega mega cubes right here now this don't look too good it looks really good on the big computer but the timestamp really got me how it it showed up at that timestamp before then that area there was nothing there uh, nothing there and now i don't know where they went good morning everyone um the movie cocoon uh amanda the movie Cocoon. What is the movie Cocoon about? I, I've heard of it. I don't think I watched it. it. It probably sounded scary and I didn't watch it. Cocoon. Cocoon. Ca cocoon. I want to look at it really fast. Cocoon. M movie. Let me say something. I'm going to get some images of it. Oh. Cocoon. What is that? In the water? Well, the cubes were in the water. The cubes were in the water. It appeared at some time they were hovering over the water, but they were in the water also. The Shining Ones. Is that a movie too, Vonda? Is that a movie? Wow. Okay. You're all on to something. You're on to something. You are. So these clues. So this is the movie Cocoon, A Beam of Light. Uh, the most wonderful place. They, they exist. These um, these beings that have um, light, like you ever see the fire beings too? It's like um, they said it's like a Shekinah, Shekinah glory, like the lights like that. You all, you ever see them also? Look at this. So they're in the water. The shining ones. I've got to look out the shining ones. Okay, let me look at the shining ones, you all. Let's, let's look that one up, too, because I, I've heard of it. I wasn't allowed to watch movies. And, well, the shining one. Shining ones. Let me see. Did we got any more clues on here? Okay. Oh, they're one and the same. <gasps> 
They're one and the same. Oh no, this looks like the Anunnaki. The light beings. The world's most powerful secret society uh, manipulating mankind for eons. Well, it's not the only whatever out there, you all. It isn't. This is interesting, you all. I've never, I've heard of the shining ones. I really have. Look at this right here. We, oh, wow, look at that outfit right there. The story of the shining ones and the real history. Um, let me see. Did you see anybody got the alien pods in the pool? Um, energy off of them and get younger. Oh. So you all haven't heard of. Oh, look at this. They advise spiritual beings, light beings. Now we know that Hollywood has a way of what is good making it look like it's bad and what is bad making it look like it's good. Hollywood has a way of doing that, you all. The cocoon is all about they are able to regenerate and healing pods. Healing med beds, med beds, is that what it is? Med beds, Amanda, honey? Now that you said that, I've never looked into the med beds and stuff, but they got healing pods. Okay, that's what that sounds like to me. If you could like put it in today's uh, terminology, today's um, talk about stuff like that. Don't you think that could be kind of good morning? So the Elohim, 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 Elohim. How do you say it, you all? The Elohim. The angelic like beings right here of light. You, I'm sorry, I got a B rated, low grade rated um, video showing my phone. Um, let me look at this. Good morning. That's what you call them. I've I've heard, Brooke, honey. Oh, uh, we'll be I'll be 20 again. I heard that the ideal age would be like around 30. I did. The ideal age would be like 30 years of age. Were the Elohim, the shining ones, the creator of mankind? So you all, this is really interesting. It really is. Let's see some of these images. This right here reminds me of some other images that I've seen. It is true that people have seen gigantic beings with wings. I've seen them personally. Uh, in the sky, and people have seen angelic beings glowing. They literally, they glow. Their whole You can see the whole entire figure of them in front of them. The whole entire figure in front of them. And the people that I've heard give an account of these beings, these light beings, they're not bad. It's not a bad account at all. It's actually a, a very good account that they have given of them. Um, the movie AI Artificial Intelligence. So, that's really interesting. It really is the shining ones. Do you think that um, the darkness likes the shining ones? Do you think the darkness likes the shining ones? Do CERN like the shining ones? Because I don't think that that was a light being that came out of CERN, that tall, 15 foot tall shadow being that came out of a dark black gateway in CERN in front of those scientists. I don't think that was a shining one. It was a dark one. It was a shadow person. It wasn't the shining one. It wasn't. So I would hope that, you know, instead of trying to find the dark matter and see what it's all about, why, why, why don't you want to bring in the light? See, that's the thing. Surrogate. Surrogate movie, The Matrix. You all got a really good um, surrogate. Surrogate Matrix. Let me look, you all. I can look for you. We can, because I, I haven't. 
And then, no, this is this brought me up all this kind of stuff right here. Preparation QC. I don't know what this stuff is, you all. This ain't it. Surrogate Matrix Alien. Um. Oh, that's gross. No, no, see, that's that looks like they got slime on them. He's got slime in the pods. Well, that's no, that's that's the Borg. That looks like the Borg, and that does look like the Matrix, like um, the Borg and the Matrix. Could the virtual reality turn the Matrix into reality? This looks like a big CAT scan. That's what that looks like, you all. CAT scan. And um, this is monster. This is a monster. That's I, I would rather look at the shining ones. The shining ones. So we got two um, contrasting... Um, views. We really do. Two contrasting things. See, this is two different type of species is what this appears like. This looks like the Elon Musk species. It does, you know, look at these light codes. Um, something like that. Look, sci-fi movie The Binge. Never heard of that. The binge, Tron. So we've got two different types of scenarios. We do the shining ones, and no, I don't want um, I don't want the um, the one type. Like this. Hello, Apple Brooks. I don't want the robotic type like the Borg. That would be the Matrix. But then the Cocoon movie, the regenerative pods, the light ones, the shining ones showing up. Look, somebody's house right there. There's a reason they do these movies. There really is. The three shining ones in the Bible. I haven't seen this before. The three shining ones in the Bible, you all. The other, you believe there is another type of shining ones. Well, uh, if you were calling um, uh, the morning star... Because it's the morning star refers to um, Lucifer as the morning star and also <clears throat> Jesus as this morning star. But then you'd have to think about there's an inky and there's an in -law. Um, Everything seems like it's kind of been, look at this, the scrolls, the shining ones, the scrolls, the angelic beings. Think about alien type summary. Shining ones. Think about alien type summary you all you can if 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 people want to know the links to everything i went to you're going to have to do some work on your end too because when i come on here and i um do this like this i have um look at this look at this you all look at this how how k wells the the cavern of the shiny ones the cavern of the shiny ones uh how k wells this sounds like orson wells did you ever hear of that one, you all? So there seems to be a lot of documents out there. There really does a lot of stuff. The shining ones right here. You look at the, you got the big Goliath-like being. Okay, and remember the Lord of the Rings, the elves. The elves appeared like they were shining also. The shining ones, the elves in the Lord of the Rings. Um, we got the Assyrian image of the shining ones right here too but see there's there's so much stuff going on you all i thank you all for um putting your has anybody else got any other things you're so very welcome we make peace with the aliens and at the white oh you cannot make peace with beings who want complete dominance and control because that's no respect for your 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 human you right there there's no respect there if they're if that type of power 
Yeah, you will have to become one with them, more or less. It's like the Lord of the Rings when he's talking about Sauron and Saruman. He goes, join us. We must join forces with him. We must join with Sauron, whoever he is. He, he told Gandalf that we must join. And now I forgot what he said. If you don't join, what happens with you? Because he said that was the only way. You just got to join in order to survive with the darkness. No, I don't want to shine. I don't want to stay with the darkness. I don't. I really don't. But the shining ones, you all see, that's really interesting. And the movie Cocoon. Um, and these beings. I really never known about that. But it reminds me of Black Pods. Do you think, have people been seeing light beings like this walk around? And these light beings, if they can walk around, um, they're very powerful. They're very powerful. Do these light beings, just say, take these two witnesses that are supposed to show up, and anyone who wants to harm them, fire will come from the mouth of the two witnesses, and it will consume everything that comes with them. Fire comes from their mouth. They're actual beings. They're like um, messengers, but messengers. And um, and the people of the world don't like them, so they try to kill them, and their bodies lay in the street. Was it for three days? And the whole world rejoiced because of these two men who haunted, who did all of this. The whole world will rejoice that their body's in the street, and then a breath of life comes into their bodies, is what happens. A breath of life comes into their bodies, and they ascend up in the sky, is what happens. Isn't that what happens? A breath of life comes in their bodies, and they go up in the sky. The Anunnaki. They, he don't look like he... Don't be cheap. Oh, alien guru. The Anunnaki, he don't play games. If this is like the Anunnaki, a shining one, if really, truly, if this is part of the hidden history right here, uh, and we all, I refer to having a light in my being too. I do. I'm a light being. Um, and we're not to let our light go out. We're not. Um, because we have more power within our beings than we realize, and this light is contagious. It does, and it illuminates all around. So we we consider ourselves as light beings. Some of us do. But if, if that is the case, uh, is this like the true form? Amanda, honey, thank you. Is this like the true form right here of the light beings? Are they like angelic messengers, the Elohim? Now, I've never really studied all of this stuff because, you know, I was brought up in church and then I just raised my family. I, I was focused on my children and stuff like that, you all. I never did get into any of this really until four years ago. All of this, a being of light. Three beings came down in a beam of light in my, this is my story. Three beings came down in a beam of light in my front yard on one of the main convergent lines. One was a small extraterrestrial being. One was an older lady, looked like me in my future state. I gained weight and stuff, and the one was a younger one, looked like me when I was younger, long brown wavy hair, standing on my porch looking at the eastern sky, and I knew exactly what this meant, uh, that she was going to be me, I was going to be her, my life would change, and the older lady, she read my mind, she said, it's okay, it's only going to be four years, that's what she told me, it's only going to be four years of doing whatever I'm doing, and here I am, I don't know much more than that, you all, I, I know that I'm doing what I'm doing, and my the life I had is more or less on the back burner. I mean, I still do the things I used to do, but not in the capacity that I did. My The majority of my time is spent uh, interacting on here. So, yeah, but the shining ones, you are, that is really, that's Venus Prime. I've never heard of this, but I don't want the uh, alien-like ones that come out of the pods. I don't want the alien-like ones that come out of the pods with the monster face. The surrogate ones. I don't like that. 
Um, I don't. What is this? This is an old book. What is this called? Um, this is Russian. Is this Russian writing or something? The Odd Hand Drawn from... Rich to Prophet, honey, thank you. The Odd Hand Drawn from the Movie Posters from Russia. I've never heard of The Odd Hand. I haven't. But these shining ones, the shining ones, and are the shining ones supposed to be bad? Because if the shining ones are supposed to be bad, then there's someone on earth who does not like the shining ones because we're obviously trying to bring in the darkness uh, is what they're trying to do. Bring in the darkness, dark matter and stuff, you all. What happened? In the Garden of Eden, you all. This is um, IsisGod.com, you all. I, I've never been to these things, but um, I can resonate with this, Tesca, honey. I can resonate with this. Thank you. I can resonate with the story of the Shining Ones is the real history of mankind. We know that our history has been hidden. It's been hidden, you all. The real history. And there's much more to it. Otherwise, we would not be facing all the adversity that we're, we're facing. The identity of the Shining Ones. Um, you have this. And there are people, you all, I promise you, I firsthand witnesses of seeing angelic-like light beings. Light beings. So again, you get the Anunnaki. More or less, and if these are this is Assyrian images of them, something's going on. There are ships here. There are ships here in our atmosphere that have the ability to come in and out of the clouds and materialize you all. We've literally documented them right here. Light ships right here. They're, they're not the dark ones. They're the light ships. They're in the clouds. This is Table Mountain, South Africa. And there is a rush to, um, there's a rush, you all. There's all these, all these cubes showed up in April of 2019. April of 2019. Um, at the coordinates of, um, let me see the coordinates. They're 26.19.41.35 South. And then 80. Point zero zero point twenty nine point seventy three west. They're showing up in the South Pacific. Also, um, this is really. Um, let me see. Do we got any other comments on here? SD, honey, how can she tell if they are good or bad? Whatever. I, I'm a spiritual being in this body, and if something, if I, I can feel the energy. Let me just say, I can feel the energy. From things around me and so can a lot of people when we see something our our bodies can react the spiritual being inside of our body we got energy inside of here we can feel negative energy we can feel positive energy um, if that right there uh, if I was looking at these uh, ships right here this is what I've been given to document if I was looking at these ships which they are light ships and I don't get in any negative feeling of them at all not one single negative feeling However, there are those who get a negative feeling from them. They do. They get a negative feeling from these light ships. But then look at this. Could this be the shining ones? Could this be another form of the shining ones that's showing up at the observatories? This is the second time that we have documented these at the observatory. Uh, all the lights went out at the observatory around three or four months ago, back in July. And these showed up. You could see different color lights going inside of there. They had a meeting with somebody, and it was all hush, hush. Your body tells you that's right. That's Our body tells us exactly. So there's something going on. Do I like to see? Okay, let, let me just talk about this. Now they say, they now they say the Lucifer. They see, this is very, this is a flip side. The Shining One, Rex Lucifer is the Shining One, too. Um, so that they're going to say that also. They're going to see the complete opposite. 
So where, there, where there's good, you're going to have bad. Where there's light, you're going to have darkness. Um, you're going to have it all, you all, is what's going to happen. And I am not... I'm not an expert on any of this, you all, but there is something going on. Um, the law of 80-20. Yeah, I, I don't know about the law of 80-20. I don't, but that's, um, that's, yeah, let me, let me, I, I, I put in the wrong thing on here, you all. Let me do this. Why? Why? Let's look. So look at this. Where the Elohim, Elohim, the shiny ones, were they the creators? See, now this is a conspiracy daily update. Were they the creators? We can see them here. There's there's too much history that's been documented, you all. Way too much history. Way too much history that's been documented is what's going on. Way, way too much. Look at this. Um, the seven lamps and stuff right here all of, there's lots of symbolism too there really is a lot of symbolism and stuff like that there's people who focus solely on certain subjects but i i just hop all over the place you all i do but i know that there's something going on i know there's a battle going on earth and humanity is in the center of it this spiritual being inside your body some people would refer to your soul so your soul is at stake. Your soul, someone wants your soul. They do. They want your soul. They want to take your soul. They want to take your, kill your spirit, take your soul, uh, and own you. They do. You ever see the Hollywood movies? You look at some of these people think, oh, they already done sold their soul to the devil. I'm just saying that's what they say. And they literally do. The, the things they do, the symbolism and all of that, it's really kind of scary and creepy. Um, because they like walked over to the darkness. They didn't come to the light. They did not come to the light, but that's okay. You all one day, one day the light, um, is going to pierce through the darkness. It is. And, um, if you're just new to this channel, I just jump all over the place at times. I really do all over the place. See, we can see this right here. There's something to this. If this was not significant, if none of this was significant whatsoever, these things, like these images of these, would not be etched in stone. Um, they would have not been etched in stone. And uh, some of them have survived. Some of them have survived you all. There's something going on, something massive going on, and we're in the brunt of it. We're in the brunt, we're in the brunt of it, is um, what it is. So um, that's about it. I'm about done, you all. I am about done this morning. But I wanted to come on here and um, connect Sumerian deities. Were the Sumerian deities the shining ones? Were they the shining ones? Sumerian, Sumerian deity, shining ones, um, Sumerian. You can see, oh, look at that, you all. The story of the Shining Ones and the real history of mankind. Oh, I like how they put them like this. Isn't that nice? Look at that. The history of mankind. Have you seen this? The, some of these images we have not seen. If you go to the 63 best Anunnaki images, were the Anunnaki's the shining ones? Were they? If we were to zoom up on the face of this, the pagan Canaanites. Well, there's a lot of labeling that happens. A lot of labeling that happens all over the place. There is. This is different. Have you seen that before? Look at that. The ancient Sumerians, uh, a.k.a. the Watchers, are proven to be the shining ones. The shining ones. 
that's really um, interesting. It is. So, um, it's okay. That is uh, quite all right, you all. It is. The Anunnaki were around proudly when the pyramids, that's right, were needed built. That's right. When they needed built. The Anunnaki. Look at this. Let me see this. The gods of old mythology. There are experts on this, you all. There's tons and tons of experts on all of this right here. The alien bloodline of the ancient gods. So it's all over. But all I know, let me see this. I don't think I've seen this one either. Why Kubrick? Why Kubrick changed the ending to the Shining Ones? Why? Yeah. Why? So, um, in case you missed it, they sh these right here showed up at the observatories on the 20th. And this is in the video right here. If you go to this video from last night about the Nibiru thing, planet like object, this is on there. There's a timestamp on the description, 20, around the 25 or 26 point timestamp, minutes timestamp. You'll see this manifest. So um, I am going to be going. I am. I'm going to be going, but I wanted to come on here really fast. Thank you all for um, coming on here. Thank you all for your um, super chat. Thank you. Our world is changing, and we all will soon have to choose sides. The day will come. You will have to choose which side you're going to be standing on because that's what's going to happen. You'll have to choose one day. You know you will. That's right. You'll have to choose. You want to go with the... The Lord of the Rings, the one who holds the rings, the Sauron and the Saruman. It would be wise, my friend, he told Gandalf, to join forces. There's no other way with the armies of darkness. Uh, yeah. So I'm going to go. And thank you once again. And I looked at this. It said 144. Um, so hello. We're, and there's $44 shows donated on here. So hello, wherever you are in any part of the world. Hello. From my heart to yours, love you. Have a wonderful rest of your day, you all. And thank you once again for coming on here. Uh, love you.